Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beverly. I do things planner related. If you're new here, welcome to the hot mess. And if you're coming back, you are well aware. So today is Thursday, actually. Um, we are prepared for the hurricane as best we can. We have been running around like crazy, um, getting last minute things, had to go buy a new generator this morning, um, all the things. Um, and now we're just waiting. So in the meantime, I thought, why not? I'll do a Friday flip and I'll go ahead and post it for it to go out in the morning um, and get it done. So my planner is the same. It's my Julio Undyed. Um, I'm really loving this planner. Um, it feels so soft and the more I use it, the more I love it um, and the softer it gets. Um, yeah, it's got wear on her. She's patinaed well. Um, a few have even have a few pin marks that have just kind of turned into like the color that's kind of worn off and turned into the color of the planner. Um, yeah, so pockets are always functional right now. I have stuff in there I just don't want to share. I have some cash, I have other things. Um, but it's all functional. There's no stickers or anything like that. I always keep my favorite tarot and my, I have my name here and on the back it has my phone number and address in case my planner is lost. Um, I'll go ahead and cover the back pocket. It's just school stuff. My, my granddaughter, her dance stuff and um, a few bills I have to pay. And then the back are just my cards because it's a functional wallet for me. So I don't do a bunch of card deck or um, pocket deco. I just I never have. I don't, I really never mastered that. <laughs> so, um, dashboards, mark off the day. I've been doing this and I like it a lot better. It's just, this is from three years apart. She used to put these in here and it was a mood tracker. Um, they, she used to have um, in her freebie kits. She puts out a great monthly freebie kit with dates. Um, dated um, planner stickers that you can put in like a bullet journal or something and I've used them for years. This used to be a part of it. I think she simplified it now but um, and I just put like a smiley face, a man face, and a sad face depending on the day and that really helps me kind of just keep a big picture of my mood. This one, um, I ended up having two of them for some reason. Uh, usually I have two, one goes in here that I mark off the day, my mood thing. And then this one usually goes on, uh, the other one usually goes on my dog's pill. So we dose her correctly. Like nobody second doses her, um, for her Prozac. And, um, but somehow I ended up with two of them. I don't know why. And this one just sat in here. So I'm not worried about it. Um, I could probably throw it away, but it's just acting as pretty won't be long. I can put a sticker on September, which is crazy to me. Cray, cray, crazy. 25. All this is plan with B. 20, uh, plan with B task reminder trigger lists. This is like my rolling inbox. And then this is a master to-do list, just personal projects, things like that I need to get done. This is a home projects list. My hurricane prep list came in great. Um, we got everything done. Um, this has been really using this. Helena, um, Helena, Helena. Um, and uh, got all that marked off. I can mark all of it off. Uh, ice, guess camp, wood, cash, charge, yep, wash, laundry. Doing the last of that now. We're still charging everything to make sure it's 100% right up until the end. Yep, everything is done. I just hadn't been marking it off. We've just been in go mode um, since yesterday. <laughs> just go, go, go. Um, because it went from, oh, it's fine, to, oh, God, really quickly. Um, so, high energy, low energy. I haven't been keeping up with this. I need to go back to it. Um, this is just my shipping stuff, that stuff I order that are one-off things. Um, ain't gonna lie. Oh, I need to put that on there. Okay, so um, I'm working on a capsule wardrobe. 
Um, I, it's 33 items for three months, and um, I'm gonna, I need to fill this out. It starts in October. Some more notes I took for capsule wardrobe, a recipe. I am prepping for October, so I printed out some more list pages. These are just today's, the free, date free today inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. I, I had a bunch of them, and I have a bunch of these from Main Mama Plans already printed, and in a ring binder holding, you know, just waiting. So I'll have plenty of lists. Um, and then uh, this is my fall bucket list from Keys Designs. Recipes to try for the holidays, gift lists. This is Main Mama Plans. And then if I need to do like a quick party prep list, I can make a list, little small lists here and there. Cause we hit like different parties through the Christmas holidays and I can just make things I need to bring or whatever into that. Um, recipes that I wanna try during the holidays. That one is actually upside down. I'm not sure why. And I'm not sure how long it's been upside down. Could have been upside down this whole time and nobody said anything. All right, so this is my lists section. And these are just um, to-do lists and checklists from the Dollar Tree um, and a few of the today list from, I guess I put those in the front. Usually I just keep these here. I don't really keep those today lists right here because they end up being more permanent lists or longer lists. These I keep just to make a list and then throw it away. Like I just throw it out. I don't do any like maybe a small brain dump or something like that and then I put it somewhere else to organize it um, because that paper like I said is from the Dollar Tree and I don't mind just writing scratching a few things on it and throwing it out. My vacation and leave time for my work. This is my granddaughter's school calendar and these are Peanuts Planner Co. undated bundle ones and then I just put um, Sterling Ink calendars on there that I had ordered at the beginning of the year. So I have been, oops. Okay. I have been working on my goals for the quarter. Um, I just kind of wrote them kind of sloppily. Um, and on this, this is a free weekly from Horizontal Weekly, Hobonichi style setup from Peanuts Planner Co. on our Facebook. And this is each section of my um, goals, myself, home, work, relationships, money, spirituality, and hobbies. Um, and this is just kind of my action statement, what I want out of each goal. This is why I'm doing the things I'm doing. Like this one is um, uh complete uh, case management certification and to increase my knowledge and um, update my resume, like those kind of things um, there. And then on here, it's monthly, weekly, daily things I need to do to get to these goals. Um, and I kind of wrote them out what the goal is and why I want to do that goal um, so I can keep it in perspective. So, um, and these are just going to be the habits that I kind of develop in order to reach these goals. I had an extra thing in here. I was going to do something with it. I don't remember. It's on my list of things to do. Um, I'm going to steal my um, September to-do list overall. Some stuff I did, some stuff I didn't. These, uh, there's a few things I can mark off. This is our... Um, calendar. What's today? Thursday the 26th. We can put Hurricane Helena. All right. And she's going to be a, a cat four, I think, but I'm going to wait and I'll put it in afterwards when she makes landfall. So, this got canceled. My poor daughter and her boyfriend had to cancel 
her hockey trip because she, they were going to go down south and watch the Florida Panthers play hockey, but he got called up. He's in the reserves and got called up, um, or in the National Guard. And, um, a National Guard, Army Reserves, I can't remember. But anyway, he got called up for the hurricane. So, um, he can't, he's going to be thing. And that's one of the things with our area, like we have couple of thousand linemen here right now people that are on the coast evacuate to us because we're in the middle of the state um we also have i think right around a thousand um uh, national guard army reserves here right now that we're housing um so our resources deplete pretty rapidly and people always make fun of me it's like oh that hurricane's not coming till thursday why'd you get groceries on monday because if I wait, the stuff's not going to be there. Um, we house a lot of evacuees. We, have, we house a lot of important people in the recovery units. Um, so we can't, we can't wait. Uh, there, there will be nothing left in our area. And it's usually Tri-County area that we, you can't find supplies. You have to live off what's in your cabinet when the hurricane gets for about a week. Um, because that's when supplies start getting to us again. So, um, if, if they're able. So anyway, um, to do's for October. This is my cruise to do because we're going on a cruise. My regular to do, I got to start working on it. Party prep stuff, Thanksgiving stuff, December stuff. This is going to be my October work calendar. Habits. This is going to be my ideal weekly. This is a SM Plans OG monthly. That's a freebie um, if you join her Facebook group. And um, I'm going to put, I'm going to use it as a weekly and kind of put like all the things I want to do, the habits I want to build um, here. And then um, that's going to be helpful. I like using the monthly because I have so much room. So, um, my decoration's always the same. This is the first week of September, the second week of September, this is last week, which is pretty busy. This is the first week I had drive, so I had a lot to do. And then this is this week, um, still busy, but more... I had stuff to do, but it all turned into hurricane pep prep. So um, I didn't declutter anything. Maybe, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow when we can't go anywhere because everything's closed. Even the Waffle House. The Waffle House closes at two, so we know to be off the roads by two. Y'all make fun, but I'm telling you right now, Waffle House is last to close and the first to open. And unless that, even a rain with a name doesn't close the, her, the Waffle House. They don't close to about a Cat 3. Um, anything else, they ride it out. They're, they might be boarded up, but they have it spray painted. We are open and cooking um, as long as they have. And even then, they, if they don't have power at that time, you can come in and sit and they'll do whatever, kind of like a shelter. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's crazy. It, Waffle House is definitely an indicator for the Floridian people. <laughs> All right. Next week. So, this is going to be my last week in these. Um, I'm going to try something new next month. And we'll see how it goes. Stuff I already know I have to do. My... I didn't even look at my check registry because it's been nothing but hurricane prep. My days, I haven't really, this is kind of, these two pages, or sorry, these two pages here have kind of lasted me the week. Um, I just keep, because I have nothing, I didn't have any appointments or anything this week, so I didn't really need any daily pages. So I just kept writing things on here and then just crossing off from day to day and carrying it over. So I didn't really use any dailies this this week um i do have them set up like this is for like i'll probably use this or this for friday saturday sunday 
And then next week, I do have a bunch of appointments. I go back to work, so I have my week set up for next week for each daily. And um, then the weekend doesn't get a timed schedule. It's just Stology paper. And then I'll go into my October setup. So, um, yeah. So that'll be, that'll last me through next week. I have been working on a monthly, a weekly, and a daily planning routine, stuff I want to get done to kind of get back in a routine in my planner. Um, now that I'm kind of settled in the personal, like I'm not trying to hop anywhere. I don't have any want to hop anywhere. I talk myself out of things really easily now. I feel like I've kind of had a mind shift and, um, and it's really been great because I can look at other things and be like, I can name off six things that's not going to work for me in that planner. Um, that has been a really big mindset for me. That's, that's huge. Um, because I was a planner hopper. I ain't gonna lie. Um, this is probably the least hopping I've done in a year, um, was this year. And I mainly stayed in this, um, since March. This has been my primary, um, planner. I tried like pocket, I think B6, maybe B6 weeks since March. But those were very short-lived, and um, I always had this in the background as, like, a steady thing. So, and I really love the size, personal at 105%, so, like, personal plus. Um, it's not quite Franklin Covey because it's uh, 7 by 4 so um, it's a little taller, and uh, it, you get a little, like, quarter of an inch, so it's between personal and Franklin Covey Compact. So, I'm really liking it. Um, yeah. So, journaling. I can actually pull this out. Um, just some October ideas. This is Stology Week paper. Uh, Stology Weeks that I had still paper left in it that I had harvested. Still using that up. This is a regular... B6 paper that I had harvested that I'd already cut down and punched. This is Sterling Ink N2, N1, N2, whatever the standard is, standard 10. And I just cut the top off and trimmed off the side and punched and put in here. It even has the gilded edges and the numbered pages. So I've been using it as like journaling and stuff like that. This is more journaling. I have these lists in here, but I don't know. My brain does weird stuff but anyway um I don't know how to explain that back here is stuff I really want to work on like projects journaling things like that up here in my list section is like um things I just need to jot down like rewrite routine CVS I was trying to use it as a daily but that didn't really work out but um I write a grocery list or anything like that um in here and then these are more permanent lists or things I want to do something with, like a little long term. So that's why these blank pages are here. So my brain just divides things. It makes sense to me. It might not make sense to y'all. Well, why don't you have all your note pages in one thing? Well, they're different kind of notes. They're different kind of lists. So for me, they're divided up, which makes sense to my brain. So anyway, hope that helps. Packing guide, this is our cruise list. It's the only thing I'm actively working on right now because we don't have any other trips planned for the end of the year. Um, my adulting list, I went through those and updated those the other day. Recipes to try, trigger lists for different stores like Ikea, Sam's, Dollar Tree. Pantry list, freezer list, I can update those two now because we have stuff um, that I've bought in the last week or so purchased books this year Kindle Unlimited that have been read this year um, Audible that has been purchased this year and then the hours of the book shows to watch and what I've watched this is stuff that when I did throughout my um, planners stuff I went through and things I wanted to bring back I have a list of those for this year and Going into 2025, these were a few notes that I had written in one of my books that on goals and stuff like that, that I wanted to do. Planner ideas for now in 2025 that I'd had going before then. 
fitness. This is plan with B, fitness progress. It's weight, waist, chest, arms, thighs, hips, and any notes. Um, I keep one of these just as I'm buying clothes. This is non-scale victories. This is, I write down the highest weight that I was during the month in here, right here, just, I don't know, snapshot. I don't know why I keep it. I don't, I don't really need it, but I've been keeping up with it. My fail plan for my weight, my weight range that I want to keep around, and then what to do if I go over that. Um, it's a requirement when you had bari when I had bariatric surgery, I had to have one in place with my surgeon um, so that if something happens and I start failing, then I have a plan in place. Um, I think that's why they're so successful in their practice is because they do things like that. And then I have a nutritionist that's on call for me anytime and monthly nutritional visits. So, but anyway, um, this is my, what happened this month in my health. Like I had to put my hysterectomy in here. I had to go on to antibiotics after my hysterectomy. Like I had a reaction to one of the meds he gave me and I wrote down the meds. So I make sure I can put that on my allergy list when I go back to my primary doctor. Um, yeah. So just notes. Um, appointment things of upcoming appointments. This is some reference information, passwords. My da granddaughter's school information is all back in here that I just don't share. And we're back to cards. Nothing back there. So that's how it's going right now. Um, this is my October setup. I already have it cut, punched, ready to go. Um, and I'll have a setup for that. I already have my dashboards printed out. Everything is going to be set up next month. And that's it. That's how it's going. Um, yeah. So I hope everybody's having a good week. I hope everybody that's impacted by Helena stays safe. Um, we're, we're bracing for not a direct impact. We're going to be but we'll be within 50 miles of the eye. So it's going to be strong force. Whatever it hits at, we'll get those winds. So, um, cause it's such a huge storm. My, my poor son is on a cruise with his girlfriend and their friends. One of their friends turned 21. They went on a cruise this week. They were supposed to go to Mexico. Couldn't. They, then they were supposed to go to the Bahamas and they had to go further out to sea cause the hurricane, poor guys. But I guess they're having fun. We've talked to them several times. They seem to be having a good time. So y'all have a great week. Have a good weekend coming up. If you want updates from me and the storm and all the things, come see me on Instagram. I spend a lot more time over there. Um, I do daily updates and different things and you see my face more over there. And um, yeah, so have a good weekend. Till next time, y'all. Bye.